Today I want to talk to you about why results do not matter as much as you think they do and why I don't focus on the results nearly at all. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So a couple weeks ago, I went up to Birmingham, Alabama for the Remax Awards Banquet for the state of Alabama 2018. And I was super surprised to get the number one Remax team in the state of Alabama for the third time. I hit this award in 2014, in 2017, and now 2018. The reason why I was so surprised is because I had no idea that I was gonna hit that award. So I was surprised this year that I hit number one. I was even surprised last year when I was there and hit number one. The reason why I'm surprised about these awards is, is because I don't focus on the results. I'm not concerned with what's gonna happen at the end of the year. What I'm more concerned with and what matters the most to me is the effort that I'm putting in on a daily basis. And, the, and what am I prioritizing? What am I time blocking for? Am I doing the things that matter? Am I being most efficient every second of the day? Am I squeezing as much out of every hour that I possibly can? We all have the same amount of hours and it's up to us to decide how we're gonna spend those hours. The problem that I see with most people is, is that they're doing things that don't really matter. They think they matter, but they don't really matter. And they're spending all their time there uh, on things that don't necessarily create the real results that you're looking for. And at the end of the day, you wonder, what did I do wrong? Okay, you're not doing what really matters and you have to become really good. You have to develop the skill to recognize what matters and what doesn't matter. I've said this before, I don't wake up January 1st and say, I wanna do 100 deals this year. Okay, I don't do that. What I do is, is I go to work and give it all I got to be the most efficient, to be most productive, and to do all I can do to help the most people that I possibly can. And when I go to sleep at night, I know that I've done all I can do, and so therefore I sleep very, very well. Another big problem that I see out there is people creating these goals, okay? Like for example, they wanna sell 100 properties in a year, or you know they wanna make so many phone calls every day or every week, or they wanna get so many listings every month. Okay, so you're creating these goals which are a result, and then if it looks like you're gonna start coming short on those goals, you start to become kinda of depressed and you start to become down on yourself, when in reality, you might have been giving it all you got. You see guys, you can't necessarily control the results. When you're making calls, you can't control how many people actually answer that day. Okay, you can't control in a year if the market decides it's gonna crash, okay, or slow down like we saw last year. You can't control those things, okay? You can't control if people are gonna buy and sell right now or not. That's up to them. It's our job to make them feel comfortable enough with us to choose us as their real estate agent when they decide to buy or sell, but it's not up to us to actually try to control that result. What we have to focus on is not the result, but we need to focus on our day-to-day, -day, our actions, what are we doing, are we most efficient, are we doing all we can do to help the most people, okay? That's what's most important, and if you do that every day, you should be very proud of yourself and happy regardless of what the results are. So this year, okay, of course, I would like to hit 100 deals again, but the thing is, is this. If I hit 50 deals this year, I'm gonna be just as happy as if I hit 100 because I know that I did all I could do to hit that 50 and that was all I was gonna do. I can't control that, okay? I'm happy because I know that every day I worked just as hard or harder than I did the last day and I'm putting forth just as much or more effort and I'm trying to get better every day. I'm trying to figure out how to be most efficient. I'm always trying to tweak what I'm doing or learn something new or change something and adapt because here's the facts. The world's always changing. Um, things are always changing, the market's always changing, technology's always changing, um, at people's attitudes are always changing. There's always change happening and you have to be on top of these changes, go with the flow of the market and do what you're supposed to do to talk to enough people 
to find those people that want to do business with you for the rest of their life. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients, loyal, that will only do business with you for the rest of your life, okay? Unlimited amounts of them. It's up to you to put the work in to go find them, and that's what we're not doing. We're stopping after 100 calls, 1,000 calls, 5,000 calls, and we're stopping. We have to keep going. Our job is to filter through all the people out there, talk to them, introduce ourselves, show them how much we care, and see if there's a connection, okay? And if you go through enough people, you're going to find an ungodly amount of people that will only do business with you for the rest of your life. So let me talk about the REMAX Award real quick, the number one REMAX team in the state of Alabama because I know that I proclaim that I'm a single agent. So here's how that works. Me and my father are considered a team in the REMAX system, okay? So, but we operate as single agents. Our businesses are completely separate. He does his thing, I do my thing. So all the numbers and everything that I talk about on this channel and everywhere else, are all just my single agent stats. I operate as a single agent and everything I do is focused around being a single agent. Now, when I go get REMAX awards, we're classified as a team, okay? So, um, but that's very interesting because it's just a father and son team, basically with REMAX, just two people, and we're going up against people with, you know, teams with more agents. So we're in different categories. REMAX created different categories. Okay, there are the team category of one to five agents, which that's what we're in and that's what we were number one in. There's also a, a six to 10 agent category and then there's a 11 and up category. So um, it used to be, and in 2014 when I got number one in the state, I was up against the people who had eight and 10 agent teams. I still hit number one. So last year was the first year that they did. They split it up in the different categories and. That's kind of another reason why I was surprised last year. Um, that was the first year they did that. And then I really thought my broker was gonna beat me this year, okay? But he had a few more agents than I thought on his team. So he actually was in a different category than me. So I hope that clarifies a lot of stuff there for you about what's going on with my awards and the fact that it says team on the award. Um, and all that good stuff. So what are my goals for 2019? A lot of you already know this because I did 2019 uh, yearly goal and planning training at the beginning of the year. But for all you new subscribers, first off, welcome. And my goal this year is to hit 1.6 million in GCI, 182 deals. That's what I'm going for. So I'm just, I'm not married to the result. I'm married to the process and even though if halfway through the year it doesn't look like I'm, I'm halfway to my goal, I'm still going to be super motivated. I'm going to have high energy. I'm going to be super happy about wherever I am in the process because I know that I'm giving it all I got to reach my full potential. What is my full potential? You don't know until you get there. You don't know until you've put everything you got into something and see what comes out the other side. Okay, and the more you push and the more you push and the more you push, the more that's gonna come out the other side. And it's a compounding effect, it's the little things. Like if you make two contacts a day, you might think, you know, that wasn't really a good day. I made two contacts, they don't wanna buy or sell anything, but you had two really good conversations and two really strong contacts. You got their email, you're following my program, you're doing the weekly email. And what will happen is, is if you keep pushing and be happy about those two contacts, instead of being down on yourself, okay, and realize that two contacts a day could equal 50 to 60 a month, okay, two months goes by, now we're at a over 100, okay, we're over 100, now we're at 150 in three months, we're at over 200 in four months, 200 people that you had great conversations with that are property owners in the area who buy and sell property who are going to do something at some point in the future and some of these people are going to do things now. They're gonna buy and sell property now and you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing and those two little contacts a day add up to be huge over time. So focus on the day-to-day, -day. focus on helping people, focus on having these great conversations, and watch your business explode. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Ricky Carruth. I'm a 17-year real estate agent. Um, I'm doing over 100 deals a year as a single agent for the last five years, 
and I'm the very first completely free real estate coach. I want to change the industry. I want to reduce the failure rate and I'm doing it one agent at a time. There's over 10,000 agents in my completely free real estate coaching program. So that can all be found at zero2diamond.com and also click subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is where we do all of our live training and I'm posting at least four videos every week I'm focused around building your business and how to be more efficient so I can help you be the best agent and human being that you can possibly be. And I just want to see you guys succeed. That's all I want out of this. And if you have any questions or if there's anything in the world that I can do for you, just reach out and we'll talk to you soon.